videos, we've been detailing just how phenomenal of a Jedi Master Kit Fisto really was. We explained how he was one of the few Jedi that was actually capable of defeating General Grievous one on one in a lightsaber duel, as well as why his lightsaber style, according to Obi Wan Kenobi, made him one of the most dangerous Jedi of the Order, and how it was amazing that Fisto had taken his chosen style of Form 1 Shi Cho to the highest degree possible. It was amazing how Fisto took what was considered to be the most simple of lightsaber forms and made him into one of the most dangerous one-on-one -on -one and group lightsaber duelists the Jedi Order had ever seen. In fact, Kit Fisto was perfectly bred for the Clone Wars conflict as the Form 1 Shi Cho was designed to take on multiple blaster wielding opponents at a single time. But why is it that if Kit Fisto was so powerful that he fell so quickly to the fiery blade of Darth Sidious in Revenge of the Sith? Why was this Jedi, who was considered one of the most powerful and skilled lightsaber duelists of the Order, defeated so swiftly, so swiftly in fact, that Palpatine and Fisto's blades only touched a single time? What's interesting about this though is that depending on the Medium, the death of Kit Fisto is actually vastly different. Of course, if you take the film depiction of the duel between Kit Fisto and Palpatine, he's killed off almost immediately, just lasting slightly longer than Sacy Tin and Aegon Kolar, two powerful Jedi and lightsaber duelists in their own right. However, in the novelization for Revenge of the Sith, Kit Fisto actually lasts far longer than these other two Jedi, and Kit Fisto is only killed in the Revenge of the Sith novelization once he senses Anakin. Anakin Skywalker's present, which throws him off momentarily. In the Revenge of the Sith novelization, Kit Fisto as well as Mace Windu duel Palpatine for a time, and although Kit Fisto is severely outmatched by Palpatine with the help of Windu there, the two of them hold their own. However, the second that Kit Fisto senses Anakin, he's slightly thrown off and Palpatine exploits this major weakness. This depiction makes slightly more sense as again, Kit Fisto's prowess among the Jedi Order was substantial. It it would make more sense that he's not quite as skilled as Mace Windu, but is still able to hang in the duel for a short time. Until of course the presence of Skywalker distracts him ever so slightly, just enough for Palpatine to take the blow. In the film though, there is also a slight reason as to why these three Jedi Masters were thrown off in their lightsaber duel, and how Palpatine was able to exploit this and kill them all nearly instantly. If you remember back to Revenge of the Sith, Palpatine actually uses what is known as a Force scream right as he leaps from his chair. In the ancient Jedi text, this is how Force Scream was described. Force Scream is a wave of hatred amplified and fueled by the dark side that is capable of smashing through mental and physical defenses with ease. This of course explains why the two Jedi fell almost instantaneously. Kit Fisto though was still able to hang in the duel slightly longer. However, still dazed, he eventually fell victim to his lightsaber form itself. As we've explained before Form 1 lightsaber combat, Kit Fisto's chosen form was good against multiple opponents. However, its major weakness was one-on-one -on -one lightsaber combat. Because of this, Palpatine chooses to close the gap between himself and Fisto. And because Form 1 utilizes wide sweeping motions, Palpatine is able to get within his guard and kill him almost instantly, leaving only Mace Windu. But those are just a few reasons why the great Jedi Master Kit Fisto was killed nearly instantaneously in his duel with Darth Sidious, and how the duel, depending on the medium, is actually slightly varied. However, with both of them having an explanation for Fisto's death. Personally, my favorite iteration is the novelization, as it makes more sense concerning the prowess and skill of lightsaber combat that Kit Fisto possesses. It would make sense that he would last a lot longer than he initially did in the film. However, as the film is canon, we have to go by that strictly. And here the Force Scream, as well as Shi Cho, his lightsaber form plays significantly as to why he was defeated so quickly. But anyway guys, I would love to hear what you guys have to think about this in the comments down below. In which of these two versions do you prefer? Also, do you find this to be a reasonable explanation as to why Kit Fisto was defeated so quickly in the Revenge of the Sith? Or would you have liked to see him last longer in the lightsaber duel? May the force be with you and have a great day.